Hello, my name is uh, David Faulkner. I am the author and game master of the Amoyan Empire story uh, game universe. And I want to uh, kind of introduce you to the uh, Imperial or the uh, Amoyan Empire, the Amoyans, and some of the books I have written and, uh, we're, and I'm working on right now. And uh, I just wanted to uh, let you let, let you know uh, just a little bit of stuff. Uh, first off, uh, what are the Amoians? Uh, or what is the Amoian Empire? It is uh, it's an alien race of human-looking uh, creatures that are, of course, beyond Earth. They have their an own uh, uh, area of space that they call their uh, their empire, of course. They have uh, their leader is called the Grand Ock. He's a uh, sort of the father of the not literally, of course, but he's uh, kind of looked as a father, a fatherly figure of the of the empire. He's kind of like the patriarch of patriarchs. The society is patriarchal. Um, each house has their patriarch that's in charge of that house, and. Uh, they're, they're they're the leaders of that of that of that house. Each fat house has a, a, an area of control for the for the empire. But uh, back to the uh, what an Amoyan is. Uh, but they have uh, a male female ratio of about uh, one male to every four females. Uh, this leads to some rather interesting uh, things that happen between in their within their empire. Uh, because the males are the leaders of the of the empire, they oftentimes have to uh, particularly the leaders in particular. But uh, males, uh, they have they have w w women. Well, let me go back to, to uh, what uh, on Earth you have roughly one male to every female. This means that usually males fight over females, and males uh, usually have to be the one to capture the females' attention. But uh, in Amoyan society, because they have one male to about four females, give or take, depending on the on the house and stuff, it's usually the females who have to fight for the attention of the males. Hence, males who are in positions of power, they uh, they're often sought after by females who might have, you know, aspirations and stuff. So each male, or at least usually the males of, of, of particular power of, or of renown or whatever, will have one female who is uh, his Kayla. She's uh, his sort of his first wife. Sometimes literally, sometimes just her position. She's the first wife, and therefore, other females have to come through her to get to the male, if they, or get through her one way or another, either through a trial by combat, or challenging her to combat, or just by convincing her that she is, she has skills or abilities that that male would uh, find uh, necessary for his uh, for his household. And because of this, uh, well, males, uh, males and females, uh, Amoians, they uh, they mate for life. During the sexual uh, uh, intercourse, they uh, they bond psychically, and they are forever bound together from that point forward until one of them dies. Therefore, Amoians mate for life because you know you're not going to just uh, you know, they can only have a bond with one person, and once they have a bond. With bond with one person, one male, it's kind of pointless to uh, try and, you know, make a bond with someone else because you're already bound to somebody. What, how this works, um, males have what they call a, a beacon gland. It's a sort of a, uh, an emission gland in the brain of the male. Females have a receptive gland, which is receptive to that, uh, that emission. When they mate, they uh, they join bodies and minds and stuff, 
and the female kind of locks into that male's particular area mission and is therefore uh, bound to him to that mission until you know, one of them dies. Um, and that is what the Moians are. They are a race and they are broken down to their individual houses, like I said earlier. Each house has their own uh, separate uh, sphere of control, things that they are renowned for, etc. Uh, like houses of Oregon, for one, they're, they're in charge of the banking and stuff. And uh, uh, tracking materials and stuff within the empire, running the treasury and stuff. Um, House Carlyle is a Carlyle is a all around um, house that's good for combat and stuff. But they're they're very self sufficient in a lot of stuff that they do. Um, and there's, there's like you know 20 houses or so that are the, the greater houses and then any number of uh, lesser houses but in the storylines that I've written uh, there's the first book uh, Strange Subductions this is uh, Nico in the Shadow Book 1 it's uh, Nico or uh, in the first book he's known as Nicholas uh, you know, he, he grew up thinking that he was human on planet Earth. And uh, one day when he's off in college, uh, he runs across this woman with these fairly st beautiful blue eyes and really captivates him. It turns out that this girl, this woman, is not really a human. And uh, she uh, figures that he's not human either. And uh, then uh, Nico's uh, world comes crashing down because you know here he was thinking that he was a human being all these years because he you know, he grew up with a man that he thought was his father and stuff and it turns out it's not necessarily so and uh, I'm not gonna go into too much of the storyline because of course you know, I don't want to give it spoilers or anything but uh, <clears throat> the story is basically him finding out about his true past and uh, and uh, his his earth earthly view with the Emoian view clashing in his life and that's where the name comes up strange subductions a subduction is like two tectonic plates come together one has to give way to the other well that's the way his life is you know two two worlds colliding and Therefore, he, uh, his uh, life goes all have goes askew because things are not as what he seems, what he thought they were. In the uh, Emoyan Empire, uh, the Shadows game. This is a uh, uh, this is the second book in the series. Uh, Nico leaves planet Earth and ends up uh, going to a planet called the planet Cadia. This is one of the uh, Amoyan Empire's uh, training worlds. The uh, Ac Academy of, of the Amoyan Empire. One of them. They have several, but this is a particular the, the, the most well-known uh, and the first of the Ac Academy um, worlds. Nico, uh, uh, he's kind of thrust into this Amoyan world of, you know, where, you know, four-fifths of the population is female all, and he's uh, suddenly, uh, you know, back on Earth when he was a, a kind of a bit of a geek and a nerd and really had problems you know, trying to get get the girls. Well, in this case, the uh, females are coming after him, and he has to kind of uh, adjust to that uh, that uh, lifestyle, if you will. 
Yeah. The Shadows game itself is kind of sort of uh, he's getting trained to become a, a shadow operative or a shadow hunter, and uh, he's kind of going through a crash course. Normally, it would take you know, years and years to uh, become a shadow hunter. Well, it's uh, this is, it's, it's, the Moon Empire sends him through a crash course, and so the Shadows game is one of the uh, ways they kind of train shadow operatives to keep an eye out for potential shadow agents. And uh, along the way, uh, Nico's life gets threatened. I won't go into too much detail because, you know, it's in the story. The Shadow Hunt. This is, uh, has been an attempt on Nico's life, and therefore he has to kind of go into, hunting, uh, go into hiding. And uh, they start to have this uh, cat and mouse game of uh, trying to track down the shadow uh, agents and stuff on planet Acadia. And uh, eventually it, it, it uh, culminates in a, a battle the uh, you know, last few pages instead of the last chapter or two. Um, and then, uh, it ends with him uh, getting ready to go off into space. But uh, yeah, I don't want to give away too much storyline there either. But uh, you know, read the book, and uh, it's uh, found on Amazon. The first three books, those are uh, books that are actually out, and they're available on Amazon either through Kindle, Kimble, Kindle, Kindle, or uh, actual physical hard copies of the books. Not hard copy, you know, but physical copy. And uh, the, the fourth one I'm still working on as of this this video is uh, Into the Witch's Cauldron. This one, uh, Nico is uh, heading off into space and uh, to parts unknown. He has to. Uh, he's uh, given a starship with a small crew, and uh, um, the idea is to rendezvous with a uh, uh, a fleet someplace and uh, eventually try and track down what they call the, the witch's cauldron. <clears throat> This is this could be either the system or uh, the nova the supernova named the witch's cauldron, or it could be meaning the the uh, the cauldron of DNA that uh, was used to produce the uh, the shadow agent that has tried to kill him in the past or has you know, been leading forces to kill him. Well, the ultimate mission is to find this uh, this this uh, space station, space facility that uh, the brood, the witch that ha had uh, been bound to him. And therefore, uh, you know, they have to find this, this uh, facility and ultimately destroy it. But along the way, of course, you know, there's um, space pirates that they come across and kind of throws all the whole monkey wrench into the, the works and stuff and he gets sidetracked uh, momentarily and there's uh, various things that uh, this book is uh, where the first three books were I have kind of had a, a a line in sand where I cut it and, and decided you know, this was going to be the next storyline where the next story was going to take place this one I'm going to have uh, you know, pretty much go from start to finish from Nico leaving Acadia to the destruction of this facility that they're trying to uh, trying to find, and this this book is going to be uh, as long as it takes to get there. The first uh, three books um, they were all about two a little bit over two hundred pages. This one I could see uh, it being more than that. But, you know, we'll see. But I thank you uh, for uh, uh, watching this video. And if you have more qu any questions about the Ammonian Empire or what have you, feel free to leave a comment in the, in the comment section. Um, ask your questions. I'll probably leave links to uh, the uh, Amazon uh, pages of... Uh, uh, of the Million Empire books, 
uh, down in the description. Uh, thank you again for listening, and like I say, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And thanks again. Bye.